Good morning, good morning. I'm seeing some hearts, so I'm excited that there's some of you already online. This is a beautiful, happy day, another brand new day. And we'll start with the bowls for just a moment. Take a deep breath. I will clear away some of these things. And what oils have you chosen to apply this morning as you're thinking about your superheroes? I know it's not quite 11 o'clock yet. We will wait till the top of the hour. So I'm going to just apply another or perhaps maybe let's ring another bell. I'm not ringing them very well with my left hand, so let's try the right hand. And clear out any of those energies, those frequencies that may not be harmonious. Now, and take a deep breath. Some of you may wonder where I come up with my crazy titles. And this week, while I was swimming in the pool, all of a sudden, the word that kept coming to me was superheroes, superheroes. And so I started thinking a little bit more as I kept swimming that actually, we are all superheroes. And that might be something fun to think about. We've also, so I brought today, you know, I gather my toys around all the time and I um, brought today with me, I brought them up from downstairs and today is moving day for them. Stephen and I have our special superheroes that courtesy of Young Living Singapore a little over a year ago, almost a year and a half ago. And this is Stephen's superhero, and I brought his up to here just to show you because it's a matched set. And here is Francis. Now, it's kind of interesting because I just realized um, just this morning um, looking at them, see our bobbleheads, um, his is very stable. It's very grounded with both feet on the ground, which is much more the way he is. And Frances has one of her feet off the ground. Of course, those of you who follow me know that I injured my right knee and leg and hip and separate, in, and separate injuries. And that it's funny that this is the leg that's up. So at any rate, having fun looking at these superheroes, and I'm going to put them down so I won't knock them off while I'm talking. So, at any rate, have you thought about your superhero? Have you thought about the powers that you would choose to have in your superhero? Remember, this is just fantasy. You can be anything you choose. You can have any powers that you choose. And so as we are thinking about 
various things. Get your mind going. Use some of your oils. Perhaps the inner child might be a good one. Or the fun blend. Or it might be that you choose valor. Valor to keep you really courageous in thinking about it. Or even inspiration. Inspiration is something that I use a lot to get me inspired. And perhaps the most important of all I'm realizing is the grounding. If we are not fully grounded, we lose our connection to everything that is most important. So grounding is a challenging thing for me. It may be something that is easy for some of you. It is not easy for me. It is something that requires constant focus and assessment and reassessment because grounding does not change. I mean, it does change. Excuse me. See, I'm, something else wanted to come out. Grounding is constantly changing because it is all about our frequencies. And we've talked a lot about frequencies over the last months. And we will continue to talk about frequencies because energies come in, energies go out. And it's all about our paying attention to what is happening at any given moment. Frequencies travel through everything. We talk about our boundaries because they are filters to assist us in maintaining harmony inside our sacred space and not allowing things in. Well, frequencies travel through everything. So it's, we have to really accept, ooh, we have a blend for that. We also know that, that sacred, sacred frankincense and frankincense anchor that energy of acceptance. We really cannot control everything that comes in and goes out. It's merely important for us to pay attention. Now, I, want, I said we would have fun today, so think about this. When you are feeling good, when you first get up in the morning and go through your, your, your daily practice, your morning alignment practice, and get, as Stephen calls it, the armor, your armor on before going outside, before opening the door, or before opening the phone. To get anything extraneous, all that stuff from the outside, to allow it to come in. First, we put on our armor. However, as we go through our day, as we go through moment to moment, things change. And have you ever, think about it, times that you have felt so good and then all of a sudden it felt as if you were just totally deflated, as if you were, had someone stuck a pin in your balloon of life, your beautiful, happy balloon. Um, I kind of think, now you may want to think about what this feels like to you. I thought of all sorts of things from time to time. I think about um, cords, you know, strings or ropes and things coming in and, and kind of latching on or even something with a hook on the end of it that we have to deal with to make sure that we do stay in our sacred space. And more recently, <laughs> I thought of it as a straw. Because a straw, something can come in, something can go out. And it's just kind of, it's the way it is. And we, how can we deal with that? I've also felt at times where it was like I had a wet blanket on top of me. All around me, it was getting heavy, 
intense, difficult to breathe. Does anyone else experience anything like that? Well, as we are developing our superpowers, or thinking about what are our superpowers that our superhero is going to have, I may choose to, for it to have a giant hair dryer to dry off all of that wet blanket around me. Or I may choose for it to have a great suction to suck out anything that's not really helping me to go through that straw. Anything, just get your imagination going. Allow yourself to, to really just laugh and think of what it might be. As I was up here this morning thinking, I thought, my, I, what are my two, two biggest, two of my biggest loves, or three of them? I love color. I love essential oils, duh. And I love crystals. So I visualize myself with my belt that has little places for all my essential oils. So my essential oils are all wrapped around me ready to use and with those frequencies of those magnificent oils and blends being able to go out into um, go into my body and to be able to radiate outward from me and I thought about oh wow I wave my hands around all the time when I talk Stephen sometimes asks me he says Will you say that again? I just want to see your hands. I'm not listening to what you're saying. I just want to watch your hands because I, it's just an automatic with me. And I thought, wow, what if I had crystals? My fingers, my superhero had crystals so that every time I wave my hands, all of these crystals, these frequencies of happiness, these frequencies of joy, these frequencies of harmony are coming right out of my fingertips and creating that sacred space around me that is radiating throughout everything around me as far as it, as it will go. So, what it boils down to, and now, you know, I select my cards each, each, well, every day several times, and I also select them in the, on the morning of the video. Every Sunday morning, I select my cards and reflect upon why I might choose to select these particular ones. And... I, as I was selecting them, I was thinking to myself, we are powerful beyond belief. We choose not to use our great powers, our greatest strengths. It's a choice because the power is there. It is inherent in each of us. And Many of us choose to allow our power to just seep out where we are not paying attention. We're not focused upon where it's going or to allow other things to come in and take over instead of our superpowers, our super strengths, which every single one of us has. So as I was selecting my cards this morning. It was kind of interesting because I really, really expected to select again. I seem to, most days, my archetype cards, it, more often than not, I seem to select either the artisan, which is all about allowing the creative flow, allowing it to flow through you, or the performer, which is all about repetition with focus. Focusing, 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 rather than allowing the focus to be diluted in so many different directions, to focus upon what is the most important. And 
for those of you who follow us and know that I'm always talking about the our refinement list focusing on those things understanding the things that you choose to have in your life and possibly more importantly the things that you choose not to allow in your life this gives us a place of understanding so that we can focus or choose to focus upon the things that will enhance the things we choose to have and or minimize, eliminate those things that we choose not to have. So when I drew my cards, the, the card that I drew, and I, I did this more than once because I kept thinking, no, this isn't the right card for today, the warrior card. But as I finally, after my third time of getting this particular card, I said, ding, 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 yes, Francis. It is all about that preparation. Mm. Uh, the warrior is the leader who focuses, who understands, who quickly understands the situation, who focuses in on the plan, on the details. And that is what is required for each one of us to, this warrior has a, has a spear here, to, to ward off the things that are not important and to really focus with focused preparation on the things that are. Now, I also, the, the hologram that I selected and was the earth element. I truly expected for it to be um, a different one, like the fire. This is, the, right now, today is the full moon, which is all about release, release, release. Let go of those things that are no longer serving you. And light the fire of your passion. Get moving. And I got earth. Earth, which is all about grounding. However, Earth is also all about that connection, the connection with Earth, the connection with the source. I talk a lot about connecting with your creator, with the source, and listening to your guidance. I probably don't talk enough about the other end, which is connecting with the earth, staying grounded. This is what will assist us in maintaining our focus. This is what will as assist us in not wavering. The warrior never wavers. The warrior knows and really focuses. So these two really went together and then looking for my, for my other card. I always like to focus to zero in on one of the glyphs, and I fully expected for the glyph to come up that was all about change, the, the fiery change, that making that decision about doing things differently, choosing to do things differently. This is all about that choice, and I expected this to be the one to come up, okay? Well, guess what? I did this over and over. I tested every single card of the 10, and when I, my questions may have been incorrect. The questions we ask when we are using our kinesiology or looking for guidance are critical to the answers that we get. And I tested each one of these. Finally, at the end, and it was no, okay, no. And I'm looking and thinking, wait a minute, I got no's, am I blocked? No, I wasn't blocked. Am I grounded, am I connected with, with the source? Yes, yes, 
Remember, it can change in the flash of a heartbeat. Everything can change. So then I, suddenly I got this clue, this idea that was it that all of them, that it was not about choosing one for focus. It was about remembering the process, remembering the steps, because unless we do all of the steps starting at the first, it's like climbing, trying to climb up uh, from one story to the next. If you skip steps, you may trip. Okay, I'm really good at that. So it's all about making sure that we don't skip them. We, it, we have to first clear the blocks. We, then we have to be using our energy, our own unique energy, because we are all so special, and to understand who we are, to find that balance, that perfect balance of giving and receiving. Just these first four will take us to a whole new level. And then if we choose to go on to really make that choice, that, that breath of life, that new breath, like a new baby's birth. This is our birth. And accept who we are, where we are, who others are and where they are. Releasing all of our beliefs about the way things had to be because things change. We, this is, this is key. This is critical to release all that extra baggage and this is all about that new moon, that, that full moon energy of letting go of the things that no longer serve us integrating, reweaving all of our true super abilities, all of our superhero stuff, our magical abilities into the very fabric of who we are, and then having them all in harmony. So it's so simple, simple, simple. Is it easy? No, we all forget. I forget too. Truly, truly, I promise you, I'm not immune to forgetting. And that's why we have to check in. So as you're figuring out your super, your, your superhero strengths, you might choose to pay attention. Remember that you are powerful beyond belief and that you can choose to use your strengths. You can also choose not to use your strengths. If you choose not to use your strengths, what is your reason? Is there a particular reason? Is it too much trouble to pay attention? Is it that you may not have enough belief in your strengths? Well, we have a blend for that. This is, as everyone knows, my favorite one, which goes on my head multiple times daily. Believe, believe, believe. Know that your guidance, when you are connected, your guidance is accurate for you at that moment to allow you to reach your highest potential in that moment and your highest potential in the next moment. So as you go through this, this week, just remember that you are powerful beyond belief. Play with what are the strengths that you choose to have these superhero strengths, these abilities, whether it's flying, whatever it is, I'm ceasing to fly. I have flown my last off of walls. I, I've decided that I, I do not need to do that again. Crushing my right leg and five years ago was more than adequate for me 
to know that I don't need to jump off walls anymore. So at any rate, have fun as you're really paying attention. This is what life is all about. Enjoying, embracing every moment. And I look forward to seeing you next week.